Okay, hey everybody, this is PaintStorm Studio, a really awesome program, and I was going to show you really quickly how to make your own brushes, right? This is one I just made, right? Let's draw on the canvas here, see what it's like. You can use your brushes with different uh, uh, bristle amounts, less, more, pretty cool. So, it uh, doesn't really matter which brush you start with. I'm, I'm just going to create a simple shape. Let's turn this down a little more. Okay. Okay. There is the brush I want to create. And then you go up to your marquee selection and you drag out a selection. In this case, it might be a square. OK, perfect. Now, capture form. This looks good. I want, I want to keep this. And you can choose where you want to put it. Cloudy dots, grass, grunge, knives, uh, leaves, trees, or legit. That is a little group that I've just created. OK, that looks good. Now, I want to use that brush. Well, where is it? It's I don't I can't find it, right? Um, control D just to get rid of that marquee selection and go over to your brushes and instead of a circle, which is your custom form, custom brush type, uh, go over to custom form and then you can open that up and then right on the left you can choose which group you're in and at the very bottom I guess it would choose or have the folder you created, right? And it says L-E-G-I-T, so that, that's my folder. And this is the, this looks like the brush I just created, so select that and press, okay. <gasps> Wait, hold on. Uh, let's go back. It looks like, okay, okay, single form. And let's try shift. And let's see, a set of forms. Let's, oh, I don't know. I, I need to play around with that, but it looks like you could uh, possibly have multiple uh, forms that you could brush, and it would just alternate between the different things like that. It looks like that's possible, but that's besides the point. Okay, we'll select the brush that I just created. Control-Z to undo everything. And now let's uh, brush. <laughs> Too small. Make that a little bigger, a little bigger, and that is the happy face that we just created, and it is looking weird. Let's uh, Control Z, and let's bristle this. Okay, just kind of like that, but there are way too many bristles right now, so let's turn that down. Okay, Control Z, maybe a little bit more. Okay, I'm having issues. Let's see. Maybe it is because I'm using this crazy brush. Let's go up to one of these brushes. Or a little more simple. Yeah, that's a good one. We'll select this brush. You can apply your brush stroke with any anything you want to. So, let's go to the uh, very bottom. Oh, you can open and close it. Awesome, let's close. No, I want to keep those open so I can see them. Okay, let's select that brush, and okay, that is the brush that we're using. That is the alpha that we're using with this brush. So, oh, that's cool. I like it. That is, uh, what's that like? Hair or something? Scratches? Nice. Guess what we're making? Our next alpha. Right, okay, then marquee, selection, drag, shift to constrain proportions. Okay, right about there. Awesome. And then capture form. Okay, I like that. Let's put it in L-E-G-I-T. -E Sweet. And then let's, uh, same brush. Okay. 
and let's change it to our new brush. Okay, then Control D and Control Control Z a few times. Okay, now using this brush, I have this alpha selected that we just created, and it's really tiny right now. But let's wait, or maybe it's really big. I don't know. Hold on. Select. Okay. Ooh, nice and tiny. Let's make this a little bigger. And there is the alpha we just created. Isn't that totally awesome? I like it. So cool. And now I'm working on my next alpha. Totally cool. And it doesn't have to be black and white. It could be another color. Right. And you can use other brushes to blend colors together. Right. Let's have a little more bristles right now. Change it to a different color. Isn't that sweet? This is a really awesome program, and right now it's super cheap. Um, if anybody liked this video, please subscribe and stay tuned for more. Thanks, everybody. This is Paintstorm Studio. Totally awesome. And plus, wait before I go, this is, you know, a colored brush that I want to... Well, where's the eraser, right? Right here, you can erase as well with the same brush and everything. Totally awesome. Let's get rid of some of it. Get rid of some of this, and then go back to regular brush and uh, turn down the color amount and blur this. It's I don't know. You probably have to probably have to have a different color, and now you can blur those two colors. The colors they like to blur with each other. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody.